Okay, so first of all, I will use the unique formula in order to get a unique list of the items in the first column. Then I will put the sort formula around this in order to sort this list. And then I will sum these numbers using the sum ifs formula. The sum range will be the numbers in the second column. The criteria range will be the items in the first column. And the criteria will be the unique list of items. And then I will take the average using the average ifs formula. The average range will be the numbers and the criteria range will be the items in the first column and the criteria will be the unique items. And then I will count the items using the count ifs formula. The criteria range will be the items in the first column and the criteria will be the list of unique items. Then I want to combine these three formulas together. So I will open the clipboard and copy each of these formulas. Then I'll put the number one in this cell here and then I will use the choose formula. The index number will be the number in this cell and if the index number is one then I want it to choose the sum ifs formula. If the index number is two I want it to choose the average ifs formula and if the index number is three I want it to choose the count ifs formula and then close brackets and enter. So at the moment I am getting the sum, but if I change the index number to two, I get the average. And if I change it to three, I get the count. Now let's say I didn't want to select these columns individually. I just wanted to be able to select the whole of this range. In order to do that, I will use the take formula. And I'll select this range. And then I want to keep all of the rows. And in order to get the first column, I will put the number one in here. Then in order to get the second column, I will use the take formula again and select the whole of this range. And I want to keep all of the rows. And this time I will put minus one into the columns as I want to take the last column in this range. Now that I have both these formulas set up, I can copy them to put them on the clipboard. And I will also copy the sort unique formula as well. Then we'll turn the choose formula into a let formula. And we need a close brackets on the end. And I'll use the keyboard shortcut Alt Enter to put this on different lines. So I will call the first column one, and that will be this take formula. Then I'll call the second column two, and that will be this take formula. Then I will call the unique list UNI, and that will be the sort unique formula here. Then I will copy the word uni, and I can close the clipboard now as I no longer need it. And the unique list is actually this list here. So the cell reference is G3 hash. So I'll find all of the G3 hashes in this formula and replace them with uni. Then I'll copy the word two. And this is for the second column. So all of the cell references that are looking in column B. And I will replace these with the word two. And then I'll copy the word one, and this will be for the first column, so all of the cell references looking in column A. And I'll replace all of these with the word one. And then we'll press enter in order to check that this formula is still working. Now, in addition to getting the numbers, I also want the unique list of items to be a part of the result. 
So in order to do that, I am going to add a H stack formula into this. So we need another close brackets at the end. And the first array in the H stack formula will be the unique list of items. And then the second array will be the whole of the choose formula and enter. And now I get both the items and the numbers. Now we will make a lambda formula. So we need another closed brackets. And in the lambda formula, I am going to make two parameters. One will be the array, and then the second one will be the number for the choose formula. And I will call this sum one average two count three in order to remember what each of the numbers do. Then I'll copy the word array and I will use this to replace the two cell references that are looking in columns A and B. Then I'll copy the second parameter and this will replace the index number at the beginning of the choose formula. Now in order to test the lambda formula I need another set of open and closed brackets at the end and I need to put the two parameters inside this. So I'll select this array here and then a comma and I will put the number one in order to get the sum and I end up with the same results. Now that I've set up the lambda formula I can copy all of this except for the open and closed brackets at the end and then go to the formulas tab and define name. The name that I'm going to choose is summary and then in the refers to box I will paste in the formula that I just copied. Then in the comments box I will put 1 equals sum, 2 equals average and 3 equals count in order to remind myself what each of the numbers do and OK. Now if I do equals summary, I get the comment that I just created here. And if I click on this, then I can see the names of the two parameters. So I am reminded in two different places what all of the numbers are for. I'll select this array and then I'll put the number three in here in order to get the count. Now to test this formula, I will use it on a different table. So we'll do summary again, and this time I'll select this array. And then for the number, I will put one in order to get the sum. So in this video, I have shown you how to make a formula with different options for summarizing a table. And that is everything.